Hello budgeters, welcome back to another video. This is day four of my budgeting journey. Before we start, I'd like to say a big thank you to the people that subscribed yesterday to the channel. Uh, one person from Singapore, so that's amazing. Thank you very much. Welcome to the channel, guys. And um, thank you for following the journey. So today I have assessed some situations because obviously I started this journey mid-month. So what's ended up happening obviously is that I won't have enough put back in these folders for the bills because this is all based on a 28-day schedule, so four weeks. So obviously what's going to happen is that we're going to fall short because we started halfway through the month. So I've worked out a couple um, bills that we have to increase the value of and start putting back a bit more money to ensure that when that day comes, it's due. We will have enough put back in these envelopes. We don't have to worry about anything. So the rent is one of them and the gas and electric is the other. We've doubled those um, those stuffing envelope bills. So instead of £25 for the rent, we're now putting back 50 Instead of 10 for the gas and electric, we're now putting back 20 and That's per day until those bills are paid and then we'll go back down to the usual rate. Uh, 25 for the rent and 10 for gas and electric. So with that being said, guys, let's jump straight into it. We're going to start with the rent folder. So we need to add 50 pounds to the rent. 20, 40, 50. That's now given us a total of 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 130, 40, 50, 60, 70, 175 pounds put back for the rent. Okay, next is storage. So that's my storage unit for my business. I need to add 10 pounds to that. Giving us a total put back 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 pounds put back for storage. Okay, next is council tax. And we're putting back five pounds for the council tax. So we have 10, 20, 30 pounds in that envelope. Okay, the next one is the gas and electric. This is what we doubled again, same as the rent. So we're putting back 20 pounds a day now for that. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 pounds. 70 pounds put back in that envelope for the gas and electric. Okay, the water bill is not due to be paid until the 19th or the 11th. We don't have to worry about that one. And the Barclays credit card debt is five pounds. Now I emptied this wallet today because I paid off the, uh, the credit card for the month. So that's now been reset. So now I have the entire month now to obviously start getting that ready for the next payment. So we're gonna start with the first payment of five pounds in this envelope. Okay, next is the Lloyd's debt. Another five pound needs to go in this one. Giving us a total of 10, 20, 30 pounds put back in that envelope. The capital credit card is not due to be put back until the 19th as well. Biffa waste bins, that's for my business, that needs £10. Now that is due to be collected on the 23rd. So I do need to make sure that I find something to put this money into because this bill won't exist after the 23rd. I'm not entirely sure what that's going to be yet. I haven't really thought about it. But anyway, so we have 10, 20, 20, which is 50 pounds put back for Biffus waste bins. 50. Okay, the Vodafone bill is not due to be put back until the 19th. 
Free mobile not due to be put back until the 18th, so we'll do that tomorrow. Van insurance isn't due until the 19th. Same as the van tax. QuickBooks, my accounting software, that's also not due until the 19th, so we don't have to worry about that. Business pot, we need to add £35 to that one now. 10, 20, 35. This pot's growing quite nicely now at the moment. Another total we'll put back. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 190, 210, with 5. So 215 pounds now put back in the business pot. Next is the food bill. I'm going to add fifteen pounds to this one. Which is somewhere. I should probably put these envelopes in order. It would make more sense. Where are you? There we go. Food bill. So, like I said, fifteen pounds for that one. That gives us now a total of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65 pounds put back in the food envelope. Which is great because we did shopping the other day and uh, we don't need food now for a little while. So that's just going to keep on accumulating. Okay, next, so the Sky TV, the Levi pot, the van maintenance pot, the van fuel pot. None of that's due, okay, until either the 18th or 19th. So the next one we have is the Christmas Fund, which is here. We're gonna add 10 pounds to this one, which now gives us a total of 20, 40, 50, 60 pounds put back for that. And then we have the birthday pot, which isn't due until the 18th. So that's it. That's all the envelope stuff, guys. We still have all this spare money over here. So all of that will go into the extra folder here. Okay, which is well, there's quite a bit here, to be honest with you. So what I will do is, um, well, if we have a look how much is here first, then we'll add it all up together, shall we? So we have leftover from today, 10... 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 160, 170, 175 pounds left over from today. 175 plus five is 180, 190, 200, 220, 240, 260. So we have £265 now left over in our extras envelope. £265 goes into that box. Which I actually believe is now enough. I wanted to put back two days worth of bills in that envelope um, in case for, well, you know, we fell short, let's say, on a, on a day or two. So I wanted £260, so now we have £265. This envelope is now technically complete. So ideally now, I've got the option of adding to it, continuing to add to it until we get to the end of the month and then kind of seeing where I am or I can start now putting extra money into these other folders. To be honest with you, I think I'm gonna keep adding to it. I think that will be the easiest option and um, it kind of, kind of see where I am at that point. And then obviously I can leave that 260 pounds in there for the extra couple of days. Whatever else is in that envelope, I can use to pay some other bills with or pay off something, let's say. We'll see how it goes guys. But anyway, that's that. 
So that's today's uh, cash stuff in. We have another day tomorrow to do. So I will see you all tomorrow. And um, yeah, have a great day. Take care. And um, happy budgeting.